Our service begins on page 355 in the Book of Common Prayer, page 355. You're going to need the prayer book. Page 355. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh, gracious and ever-living God, look mercifully on Kim and Maureen who come to renew the promises they have made to each other. Grant them your blessing and assist them with your grace, that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep their promises and vows. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we turn our attention to the readings from Holy Scripture, which you will find in your little pamphlet. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In, in this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be atoned sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. By this way, we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit, and we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God so that we have known and believe the, God, the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now say Psalm 128 in unison. Happy are they all who fear God, who follow God's ways. You shall labor. Happiness and prosperity shall be yours. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children like olive shoots around about your table. They who fear God shall thus indeed be blessed. May God bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. May peace be upon Israel. Please stand. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. 
If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Well, typically at, at uh, weddings, I, 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 I conclude my comments with the notion that the sermon of any marriage, I'm sorry, the sermon of any wedding is the marriage. <laughs> but you guys have been at this for a while. <laughs> You've been preaching a long time already. But it's a good thing that you're here because it shows the world and shows us and, and, and it shows God that you've taken your, your marriage very seriously um, and you're preaching a great sermon. And I, I just think, you know, these lessons uh, that we looked at, I think I quickly counted 23 instances of the word love or loved. <laughs> so this is John writing, and at the end of his life in the epistle, the, the first lesson that Diane read, um, he's probably quite elderly, and he, he just narrows it down, you know, this is what it's all about, is to love. And I think when you're in a long-term relationship or a long-term marriage, you get to that idea if you keep turning toward the other. You know, and I have seen and known you guys now for almost five years, and I think that I see that in you. So it's a great day to be here today to, to honor um, the commitment you made 38 years ago and to reinforce that commitment today um, here in the church and ask for God's blessing on that. So um, why don't you guys come up here to the front, and before I finish, what I want to do is I want to teach you something. And you may have heard this before if you've ever been to a wedding I've conducted. Uh, something I want you to do every night before you go to sleep. Have you done this yet? You guys are doing the thank you, Jesus, for Kim. God bless Kim. Thank you, Jesus, for Maureen. God bless Maureen. I want you to practice that. And, uh, and that's your homework. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm going to ask you to do <laughs> before you go to sleep. The last thing you do at night is bless each other. Because we've been doing that. Beth and I have been doing that since we got married. And honestly, God, I just think he invented that on, on, right on the spot, the priest. If you'd have known him, <laughs> this is the kind of thing Ned would have done. But it was one of the best things he ever did because you cannot go to bed angry at one another or have unresolved issues and do that. And um, that has been a success for us. And obviously, you're, you're very successful in your marriage, but this is just another thing you can add to it to maybe add more, um, more life and more uh, closeness together here at, the, uh, here at this point in, in, your, in your married life together. So please stand, all the rest of you, and um, you can pick up that one, and you can pick up that one. And we're going to continue on page two of the leaflet. Friends in Christ, we are gathered together with Kim and Maureen, who have come today to give thanks to God for God's blessing upon their marriage and to reaffirm their marriage covenant. Kim, do you here in the presence of God and of this congregation renew the promises you made when you bound yourself to Maureen in holy matrimony? I do. Maureen, do you here in the presence of God and of this congregation renew the promises you made when you bound yourself to Kim in holy matrimony? I do. Okay, then why don't you guys kneel? You can use the rail if you need help. And together, you need to read this prayer in the middle of the page. We thank you, most gracious God for consecrating our marriage in Christ's name and presence. Lead us further in companionship with each other and with you. Give us grace to live together in love and fidelity with care for one another. Strengthen us all of our days and bring us to that holy table where, with those we love, we will feast forever in our heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God the Father, who at creation ordained that man and woman become one flesh, keep you one. May God the Son, who adorned this manner of life by his first miracle at the wedding of Cana and Galilee, be present with you always. Amen. Amen. May God the Holy Spirit, who has given you the will to persevere in your love and in your covenant with each other, strengthen your bond. Amen. And may God the Holy Trinity, the source of all unity, bless you this day and forever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also you may kiss your wife. <laughs> peace be with you. Peace. Peace.
you know that's where the kiss came from in a marriage? Was that is that it was the actual the, the peace? Oh. That tradition that was at the peace following the vows. So you learn something new every day, right? Peace be with you guys. So great to have you here. Where do you guys live? Oh wow. Mm-hmm. It's so probably nice to come down here and get a little, get a little out of the cold. Yeah, it's going to be really nice today. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the altar, and then we're going to invite you guys to come up into the chancel and stand on either side of the altar. We'll have you up here in just a second. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom, and you're exalted as head over all. Here, uh, three on this side, three on this side. We'll have Kim and Maureen over here on my left and the rest of you over here on my right. That would be great. And Beth, if you come over here too, then there'll be three on this side and three on this side. So We're going to be on page 367 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Because in the love of wife and husband, you have given us an image of the heavenly Jerusalem, adorned as a bride for her bridegroom, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who loves her and gave himself for her, that he might make the whole creation new. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you've made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray, O gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with the ever-blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints, 
we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on it in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. page 432 and this will be the prayer after communion for our Eucharist today and in the prayer when we get to the word joined let's change that to renewed renewed instead of joined you'll see what I'm saying together let us pray O oh God the giver of all that is true and lovely and gracious we give you thanks for binding us together in these holy mysteries of the body and blood of your son Jesus Christ grant that by your Holy Spirit Kim and Maureen now renewed in holy matrimony may become one in heart and soul live in fidelity and peace and obtain those eternal joys prepared for all who love you. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.
don't think I was in Idaho just to get out of the Snake River once. Well, and then yeah. we got into a van stuff and went yeah. back to Wyoming. Are you from Wyoming? Sir? Are you from Wyoming? Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about a trip to come from Indiana. Okay, but that's <laughs> well, you didn't have to, you didn't have to deny it. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I, 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 I,